Uh, Jalen, in my opinion, should be unbanned, man. Listen, the thing with, like, a perma ban is I don't think people understand, like... <laughs> people make careers out of streaming, man. Like, uh, the, 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 listen, this is a very big, I like, issue that, like... Like, no pixel, essentially, like... If you do dumb shit, or not dumb shit, but if you get perma banned off of no pixel, bro, and you're a RP streamer, bro, your stream's gonna die, man. Like, like to 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 to, to demotivate somebody, that stream's gonna die, but like, it's gonna slow down, man. And, and to demotivate somebody like that, and like, do some bullshit like that, a perma ban is not. It's so very unjust, man. It's very unjust, man. Because then what is that person supposed to do for the next 30 days? And that's assuming that he gets unbanned after the 30, right? Like, what is that person supposed to do? That people expect 30 days, like, okay, cool, yeah, he'll be back in 30 days. Like, no, dude, you're... Like, you, they, that's just an appeal, bruh. Honestly, Jalen didn't do anything even wrong. What... His, like, he just got fucked on the warning points, to be honest. And it, his last ban that he even did, like, it wasn't even, like... It was fucking stupid. It could easily be a conversation. A lot of... 99% of these bans that even occur, bro, are like... Okay, dude, it's literally a simple conversation. Literally a simple convo. I don't know if I make if I'm dictating it properly and saying it properly. You get what I'm saying though, right? A, not, a lot of these bands, like bro, everybody's in their twenties, bro. Like, listen, for the people that are streamers and like, a, a lot of people are in their twenties, bro. Like twenties and thirties, like bro, you're like there's a level of maturity that is there. Now, if that person, if you, now if you try to talk to that person. And then there's like a, and then the maturity level isn't there. Then, I mean, at that point, then, okay, yeah, you deserve it. But like, I don't know, man. A perma ban is crazy, man. That's like, because then you're fucking with people's money and shit. I mean, at that point, you're like, okay, well, like, there's easy arguments on both sides. But uh, I don't know, man. There's, there's a lot of like bullshit going on. I've seen wars go on in the past month that, people are doing that have haven't been banned at all versus Jalen getting perma banned on some other shit. I think I'm going to I'm going to use the uh, motorcycle. I'll not a lot of these bands like bro, everybody's in their 20s, bro, like listen. For the people that are streamers and like a, a lot of people are in their 20s, bro, like 20s and 30s, like, bro, you're like, there's a level of maturity that is there. Now, if that person, if, not, if you try to talk to that person and then there's like a, and then the maturity level isn't there, then I mean, at that point, then, okay, yeah, you deserve it. But like, I don't know, man, a perma ban is crazy, man. That's like, because then you're fucking with people's money and shit. I mean, at that point, you're like, okay, well, like, there's easy arguments on both sides. But, uh, I don't know, man. There's, there's a lot of, like, bullshit going on. I've seen wars go on in the past month that people are doing that have, haven't been banned at all. Versus Jalen getting perma banned on some other shit. You can still play public? No, man. Because then, technically, it's ban evading, right? If you play public. If he's not banned on the public server, then technically, it's a ban evade, right? Because you're still banned. You're supposed to be banned from the main server. So if he logs in on the other server, then it's like, okay. It, it just pisses off the, the, ad, the admins even more, to be honest. Banking server show. Like, if you really think about it, right? If you look back. Right? L looking back, right? Like, Zolo, for example. Take Zolo, for example. What does anybody even remember what Zolo like what what even got Zolo banned? RDM on Wrangler. Okay, now listen. 
RDM on Wrangler. Now, now, how many times was Zolo linked on Reddit, like, for RDMing somebody or doing some shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to my knowledge, and I'm speaking because I don't know, right? To my knowledge, that was Zolo's first offense, right? And that Zolo is somebody who's new to RP in 3.0 completely. He's not an OG, right? He disrespected admins? I don't know anything about that. What, what, what? What did he do in terms of that? And Zolo provided, like, Zolo wasn't what, some random person that, like, would just sit in the server and AFK gold panning or fucking fishing or whatever. Like, nah, dude. He was a Wuching artist. He started up his own gang. He fucking, you, you, you feel me? Like, he would make music. Like, my bad. He provided a lot, and he still makes music for the server that he's banned off of, bro. Listen, it's not it's not my place to talk about people getting banned and shit, but I I, I feel like uh, I don't know, man. There's just been too many bans recently, man. Like, I think people gotta remember, like at the end of the day, this does put food on people's plates. And then you can easily make the argument, like, oh, okay, well then if you if this is your main source of income, don't do stupid shit. Okay, yeah, I understand that, right? Right. Agreed. Agreed. I would agree with you if the bands were uh, if the bands were that like crazy, right? But like, I don't know, man. I just I don't know. I don't know if I'm like even saying this properly. Like, I hope I don't come across the wrong way. I don't know. I just think uh, to perma ban somebody, bro. Like, you really need to think like, okay, well, like, there's a lot of factors that get play that get put into place on a perma ban. Because at the end of the day, dude, this place is a business. As much as people want to say, oh, this is just a game, it's just a game. Nah, man. It's a business, bro. That's such a cliche argument, bro. People do this to make money. People don't log in. The streamers don't log in every day because they want to enjoy RP, bro. There's a very small people that do that at no pixel at this at this moment. At this time now, and how far no pixel has gotten, people, people don't log in just to play the game. Like, nah, dude, there's some sort of business involved in it. I mean, then why do you have 25 warning points? Yeah, but I, I was wilding though. I'm not, listen, I don't, I'm not arguing that I shouldn't have been given 25 warning points. To be honest with you, a lot of my like warnings and quote unquote bans were pretty fucking stupid, bro. A lot, there were a lot of hate reports. But at the end of the day, like, man, there's a lot of haters, bro. Like, some were deserved, some were un, un, not deserved, you know? But then you, that's also coming from a biased perspective. I don't know. I'm just saying, dude, there's a, like, there's a lot of people that have been unjustly permabend, in my opinion, right? Like, this is me coming from, like, like, Zolo, like, I don't know, man. Like, I still feel like he should be freed, man. Unless he did some shit that I don't, that nobody knows about, like, behind the scenes, like, cursed out admins or some shit, then obviously, okay, you did that to yourself, right? Or, like, Jalen, right? Even Bleach, right? Okay, yeah, Bleach... I don't know. Because if you really do technically think about it, Bleach did exploit, right? Okay, well then, if you want to talk about that type of exploiting, there's 20,000 other exploits people do on the server to this day. Should all those people be permabanned as well? Also, Bleach had a record, though. But okay, even that. Okay, cool. Bleach is permabanned, right? If he appeals and is like genuinely like sorry, bro, like I, I'm pretty sure Bleach isn't dumb enough to fucking log in and do it again. Yeah, Bleach was a good character, but Bleach got reported a lot. He got banned a lot and reported a lot. And I'm not justifying that, right? Like, dude, like. But also, uh, he should, um,. I don't think he should be forever perma banned, man. I think like if he properly applies an appeal, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. A lot of the stuff that goes on right now can be handled with an easy conversation. The problem is communi communication is the biggest problem right now between the admins and the community in terms of people getting banned and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because let's be real, dude. Like me, like for example, or like somebody who's like like Randy or whoever, bro. A lot of these conversations could easily be talked about on a phone call. But a lot of it doesn't get talked on phones. It's just all through, like, the forums, you know? 
and you never really know somebody's intention or like meaning or like justification unless you talk to them in phone or on the phone on the on a call you know so communication is at a minimal yeah i mean i don't want to get too deep into it but i, I don't know I'm, I'm from an outsider looking in i feel like the communication could be better man you don't want to lose your community member like that as people as much people want to shit on jalen or zolo or whoever like these people did have an influential impact on the server in some sort of way i'd rather have though i'd rather like to my for me i'd rather have people like zolo bleach and jalen in the server than people who are just spamming gold panning right now in fucking in zancudo trail you know what i'm saying because they provided roleplay for other people yeah ultimately i guess your question is if you're gonna perma ban somebody like does the good outweigh the bad you know you obviously need perma bans for repeated offenders and there could uh you know i mean i i agree i'm not arguing that to be honest there, there are people there are people doing dumb shit i mean listen it's a two it's a double-edged sword right because then at what, at what point do you say okay well like are we just gonna keep giving warnings out to everybody or are we gonna finally perma ban somebody you know the Wrangler shit was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, even that. That was wild, bro. I'm not going to lie. From somebody reading all that shit, that was crazy. I mean, I'm going to say what everybody else is thinking, right? And then to see him on cop like a week later, that, that was even crazier, to be honest. Like, I would never expect that. Not hating on him. I'm just saying, like, that was cr that's crazy. But I guess, I mean, he said communication is open, right? So, I mean, I guess, you know what I'm saying? That's not my, I mean, I'm just from an outsider looking in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, street team did kind of get like gulag gang treatment. Like they got looked at it like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, TLDR free Jalen, man. Free Jalen, free Zolo, for real. It's been like what, six months since Zolo got banned, right? Yeah, free to guys, man, free to guys for real. Oh, Faze Zuma. I mean, dude, I fuck with him, bro. I like him a lot. I think that was just emotions were high at the current time, to be honest. Like, I don't know. Zuma seems like a pretty chill guy, to be honest.